Hey guys, welcome back to another Big Bean Sunday. Thanks for coming back. Today, we're doing some fancy schmancy stuff. We're gonna be doing some bone marrow. Tell you what, you guys, if you go to a European restaurant or a authentic you know, French restaurant, you're gonna see this on the menu and it's gonna cost you a fortune. Tell you what, it doesn't have to. This is super easy to make, super cheap to make. You guys are gonna dig this, stick around. Cheers guys, we got some ingredients together. Mm -hmm. Let's do this, it's super easy. I mean, you're gonna be astounded how easy this is. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder, that's all you want. Right now, oven's preheated already at 375 degrees. You can go up to about 400 depending on the kind of char you're looking for. So we're just gonna do some pepper. Some salt. and some granulated garlic. That's about it. That's it. Bada bing. Let's get these guys in the oven. We're gonna cook them for about a half an hour. Give them a look. What we're looking for is all that marrow in there. You can kind of see it. All that pulling away from the bone, it's gonna liquefy and it's gonna kind of turn a golden brown, maybe even a dark brown, depending on how much uh, blood is in there. You guys, this is awesome. I am so excited about this. Let's get them in the oven. All right, so while those guys are cooking, I'm just gonna slice off a couple pieces of baguette here. Uh, any kind of crispy or kind of heavy crust bread is really gonna be great with this. All right. That's what we're looking for. Throw it on a plate. Hit that with some olive oil. And we're gonna take these guys out to the grill, get a good toast on them, bring them back in by then. That little dude in there is gonna be freaking epic. It's been about 35 minutes, guys. I had to run mine a little bit longer because I didn't take them out of the fridge to let them come up to room temperature. Always do that with beef. Let's go get these guys. Oh yeah, these are looking fantastic. What do you think of them? What do you think guys? These are gorgeous, all sizzling away. There's a nice puddle of uh, beef fat here as well. This can be used over for many other things. It's got a lot of health benefits as well, believe it or not. Tell you what, we're gonna let these guys cool off. We will see you on the taste test. All right, this is the moment of truth, you guys. I hope this tastes as great as it smells. The whole house smells absolutely glorious right now. This is gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna take a little bit of parsley, hit my bread with it, and let's just dig in. And I'm gonna use a spoon, you could use a, you could use anything you want, a popsicle stick would work great. Just, just take a little blob of this, nectar of the gods, place it on my little crostini, and bottoms up. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to begin. It's, it's so awesome and it's really elegant. You guys can use this for dinner parties, whatever. Anyway guys, you know the drill. Hit that sub button, give me a thumbs up, and stick around. And Happy New Year.